Six Sad Consequences of High Intelligence Why sometimes intelligence can turn into a curse You may think that life would be easier, happier, and more satisfying if your IQ was a few points higher. But this is far from true, and the proof of this is a post under the title, When Does Intelligence Become a Curse? which collected more than a hundred comments. Users complained about thousands of things, from the absurdly high expectations that other people set for them, to the fact that they are constantly reproached for bragging. Here are some of the most interesting comments and their explanation from a scientific point of view. Six sad consequences of high intelligence. You think instead of feeling, Poor user Marcus Gedold says that in general, he understands his emotions very well and can freely tell others about them, but having expressed them, he never feels relieved. He's writing, this is a common problem for many smart people, especially those who are verbally oriented. They use words as a smokescreen, and this works especially well when they are telling the truth. People in whose lives words do not play such an important role tend to be able to express their feelings physically. They shout, punch, kick, run, scream, cry, dance, jump for joy. I can only explain. And when the explanation is done, all these feelings are still locked inside, just now they are labeled. Observation Galula emphasizes the distinction between cognitive and emotional skills. Scientists can't say for sure if these two factors are related and if so, how, but several interesting studies show that high emotional intelligence compensates for low information processing abilities, at least in the workplace. In other words, it may seem that very smart people don't have to rely on emotional skills to solve problems. People often expect you to be the best at everything. Voshna Nazar writes, you are automatically expected to be the best, no matter what. You have no one to talk to about your weaknesses and vulnerabilities. Even worse, you are endlessly afraid of what will happen if you don't meet their expectations. Sorb Met admits, because of this, you are so sensitive to failure that sometimes you can't afford to take risks simply because you are afraid of failure. In an excerpt from Smart Parenting for Smart Kids, the authors write that parents are often far more concerned about their children's achievements when children demonstrate intelligence and learn well on their own. Unfortunately, sometimes because of this, a person pays too much attention to what they are doing rather than who they are. You may not develop the qualities that hard work brings. As several commentators have noted, smart people feel they can achieve the same result with less effort than others. But a high IQ does not always become a direct path to success, a very smart person may not develop the tenacity necessary to achieve success. According to Ken Fun, a sharp mind becomes a problem when the person with it discovers early in life that they don't need to work hard to keep up with others, and therefore never acquire a good work ethic. One study found that conscientiousness at work is negatively correlated with certain types of intelligence. According to scientists, very smart people may think that they don't need to work as hard as others to get what they want. People may be annoyed that you constantly correct them. When you know that someone has just said something completely wrong, it is difficult to resist the urge to correct them. But you must be very aware that others may be confused and offended by your words, or you risk losing friends. Be smart, it's a shame, says Raxit of Maram Reddy, if you so often correct others, they begin to avoid meetings or just stop to talk to you. You think too much. Many on Quora agreed that they spent too much time thinking and analyzing. On the one hand, if you try to find the existential meaning of each concept and event, you may become overly sentimental. Ikashlata writes, you realize how fleeting everything is and that nothing really matters. You have tried to find answers, but the answers drive you mad.
A study published in 2015 found that high levels of verbal intelligence are associated with anxiety and a tendency to relive any experience endlessly. From a practical point of view, this tendency to think too much means that smart people often can't make choices. Tirthankar Chakraborty writes, understanding the possible consequences of your decisions, especially when you tend to overanalyze, leads to you never making a decision. Do you realize how much you don't know? Often, high intelligence means that you are aware of the limits of your own knowledge. No matter how hard you try, you will never be able to know and understand everything. Mike Farkas writes, intelligence becomes a curse when the more you know, the more you feel how little you know. Farkas's observation is reminiscent of the classic study by Justin Kruger and David Dunning, who found that the less competent you are, the more often you overestimate your abilities, and vice versa. In one experiment, students who performed the lowest on tests overestimated the number of questions they answered correctly by almost 50%. Those who did best slightly underestimated their results.